I'm going to show you how to take any simple photo, even a selfie, and use free AI tools to turn it into this, a hyper-realistic image of a Lego minifig. And if you hang out to the B side, I'll show you another free tool that lets you take that image and turn it into an actual video. And also, why am I wearing this ridiculous Christmas sweatshirt? A, I like it. B, we're going to use this to help test out the AI. <laughs> Tack it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk here in the home office because I'm gonna do a little demo for you. I wanna take you step by step. I'll show you the exact prompt to use. Those prompts will also be down in the description and the free tools you can use to turn yourself into a Lego minifig. It's so cool. I've been seeing these images all over the internet and I wanted to figure out exactly how to do it myself. So I decided to do a little demo. So first thing I wanna do is jump right into the web browser to show you where to start. But you can also do this on your phone phone. I prefer doing it on a desktop. I think it's easier. Okay, so this right here is gemini.google.com. This is Google's AI tool. You can be in a free account or have a pro account. It should work either way. The free account will limit the number of images you can create in a given day. So first thing you want to do is go down to the image prompt area in the center of the screen, bottom right hand corner next to that little microphone icon, there's a drop down menu. You want to make sure this is set to thinking with three pro. And the reason that you want it to be set to thinking with three pro is because this is going to force it to use the newer pro version of nano banano. That's the image generation tool from Gemini. It'll work with the old version. It just gives you better results with the newer version. Once you've got that set, look for the button that says create image. It's got the picture of the banana next to it. Pretty easy to spot. You want to click that. Now we're in image generation mode. So all we got to do from here is put the prompt in and upload our photo. So I'll start with the photo and I have a picture. Take a look. This is the one I'm using. This is a photo I took here in my office earlier today. Now for this first demo, I'm going to use this prompt and it's going to say this person in the picture as a highly detailed Lego minifigure action slash expression standing in a minimalist studio background, cinematic lighting, character design, high detail wallpaper, dynamic pose, realistic textures. So that's a good one to start with. Again, I've got this posted down in the description. You can simply copy and paste it. Now hit the submit button and nano banana should do it to work. This is going to take about in my experience, about 30 seconds or so to generate this image for you. You'll see it kind of going through the different Different processes here on the screen. And there it is. Take a look. Isn't this cool? Now, the reason I wanted to wear this sweatshirt was because I wanted to see if it would replicate the hoodie, the complicated design of the hoodie in the minifig. And man alive, did it do that or what? It kind of replicated the background too. You can see my desk on the right hand side. You can see the background, even the mirror on the wall is replicated in the top left hand corner. You've got the curtains. Just a great job. Even the background is made out of Lego. I love this so, so much. You can see my facial features. I've got that five o'clock shadow. I've got the gray hair. It did a great job. Even my gray pants, which you can barely see in the original image, it picked up on that and gave me gray pants as well. So cool, looks just like a real Lego minifig. Now, I wanna encourage you to play around with the prompt. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna create a new prompt chat. I'll do the same thing. Make sure that drop down is set to thinking. Click on create image, upload that image to start. And now I'm gonna use my base prompt that I used before, but I'm gonna add something to this. I'm gonna have it say, white studio background, clean and professional. And I'm going to try to get it to create the same type of results, but without the background that it had before. As much as I do like that background, I want to create something a little bit more clean or maybe something you can take into Photoshop and easily remove the background. So I will hit submit and we'll send that over to Gemini and see what we get. Okay, there we go. How cool is that? So it generated a very similar minifig, pretty much the same, a little bit of a different pose here. I still have that five o'clock shadow. I've got the gray hair. I've got the hoodie. What's amazing too, is you look at the pattern on the hoodie and it nailed it. I mean, side by side with the hoodie that I'm actually wearing. Again, this is why I wanted to wear this hoodie. It just did an amazing, amazing job. Slight drop shadow behind the minifig as well. It just looks very, very realistic. And 
remember with Google Gemini and with Nano Banana Pro specifically, we can continue the conversation and ask for changes as if it's a conversation. So here, I'll show you an example. I'm gonna write this, add a coffee cup to my right hand and let's see if it'll do that. It should take the image it already generated and simply modify that image with the change that I asked for. Very cool, it did exactly what I asked for. It added that coffee cup to my right hand and there I am, same hoodie. I've got a slightly different pose, but I've got the coffee cup added, so, so cool. Now, in the upper right hand corner, when you click on these images, you'll have a download button that lets you download this image in full size. So you wanna do that because we're gonna take it into another tool, like I told you we would, and generate a video from this image. It's gonna be really cool and super realistic looking. So Gemini can do video, uh, it's called Veo, but it's hard to do much of it without paying for a paid account. And frankly, I think that uh, Grox video generation tool is just easier and a little bit better. So grok.com on the left-hand side, you click the little image icon that takes you to this page. This is Grok Imagine. And essentially what you can do is upload any photo and it'll create a video for you. And I'm actually blown away how generous they are with a free account without paying anything. So I'm gonna attach the image of the Lego minifig that we just created and I'll attach that. I'm not even gonna give it a prompt. It'll jump right into video mode and start making a video automatically without a single prompt. Now we can certainly add a prompt and I'll show you that in a second but this is the video it's gonna make without a prompt in my experience these videos take about 30 to 45 seconds to generate oh my gosh oh my gosh how cool is this so do you see what happened here I have the coffee cup in my right hand to start for some reason it magically disappears and <laughs> reappears in my left hand I probably don't want that but I do love how realistic the video itself looks and watch this I'm gonna type in a prompt because I want to fix that coffee cup issue and I want it to do something more purposeful so let's try this okay so here's the prompt I'm adding character takes a sip of coffee and then looks into the camera and lifts coffee cup to acknowledge the person shooting the video let's see what that looks like we'll hit submit here on grok imagine okay okay this is awesome it did exactly what i told it to do and it obviously fixed the issue of the disappearing coffee mug but look at that takes a more of a gulp of coffee looks at the camera lifts up the coffee cup almost says something i wonder if we got audio on here let's take a listen <sighs> do you hear that there's even a little sound to go along with it <sighs> It's so cool, so realistic. And here's what's cool on Grok too, is you can actually click these three little dots here in the upper right hand corner of the video and then select upscale video. And it regenerates the same video, but it upscales it to a little bit more of a higher resolution, a little clearer picture. And then I can use the download button and I can download that video as well. Okay, one more generation. I wanna take the original image that I created with the more complicated background and see how it does with that because this image was great and I'd love to see what kind of a video it can make with that, especially because I'm in that running pose. My guess is that it's gonna make me running or walking automatically, especially if I don't put in a prompt. So let's see what happens. Okay, here it is. It's got some cool music on the background of it as well. And just as expected, I'm sort of just walking, chilling, walking around the office. <laughs> It did a great job with the background. You can see it created and generated some new portions and, and pieces of that background that didn't exist before, like a sofa chair, and it creates the lighting. It looks fantastic, so, so cool. And again, I can click on the little uh, dots here and upscale the video if I'd like to get a better version of the video, an upscaled version of the video. And then I can click that download button and download and save an MP4 file for myself. Okay, so the next step would be actually create creating a minifig, a physical minifig out of that. Unfortunately, there is no way for AI to do that. I think you're gonna have to head over to the Lego store, buy some pieces and just build your own minifig, but maybe someday, maybe one day we could create a 3D print file. It's not in the cards at this point, but I can't wait for when it is. I hope this was helpful. Throw a comment in guys. Let me know what kind of results you got. If you've got a better prompt, again, my prompts are in the description, but I'd love to see your prompts in the comments and let me know if you've got some more video suggestions. I love making AI demo videos like this. I've got a lot more cool tech reviews coming up, unboxings, a lot of cool stuff coming here on the channel. So do me a huge favor, subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow here on YouTube. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.